Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Joanna Hall. I'm the creator and founder of Walk Active. And welcome to my instant body booster. I popped in a couple of minutes early. I hope you're really well. Um, this is the start of a little four week block of instant body boosters. So as you're coming in, I've come in a couple of minutes early. You might just want to get yourself set up. So hello, hello. Come and let me know that you're here. Say hello. Um, so for our first session today, these are just going to be 15 minutes. Hello, how are you? D Beth desk our bodies. That's how I really want to think of these sessions. I did a whole series of instant body boosters during lockdown number one, and um, I find it a very you know, joyful thing to do. So I thought it'd be good to come back and do them this time at lunchtime to really hopefully break up the day a little bit for us because obviously if you're joining me here in the Northern Hemisphere it's winter time and we're getting into the cold and the shorter days but also we're spending a lot more time at our desks now that we're a bit more locked up for the current coronavirus pandemic so come on in lovely to see you I really really appreciate it um what you're going to need for this 15 minutes of posture enhancing stretch mobility sessions is just your body. Um, I'm actually barefoot today, but you can be in socks or soft, pliable, 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 pliable shoes if you want. And you're going to need to have a chair because that might be easy for balance and for access if you want. Um, I've also got a towel if you want to have a little extra support on your knees, or sometimes it's just quite nice to have an um, easy grab. And I'm actually going to be working on a yoga mat. And I know some of you have asked me about um, how thick the yoga mat should be. Um, I quite like there's one actually by Lululemon which is five millimeters thick. Um, it's really uh, durable and spongy, but not too sort of spongy. So I really like wearing that. And actually, I'm using a super thin one today because I'm actually working on carpet as well. So whatever feels comfortable for you. So come on in, say hello. And these sessions are from me to you for us to come together during these challenging times, just to feel. A little a bit connected and to let us feel a bit more energized and to lift our mood and our spirits and our physicality for the rest of the day. So if you're ready lovely people, let's begin. Okay, come on in. So find yourself a little bit of space, okay, and have your feet hip distance apart. And from this position, just have them feet distance apart and just check where you are with the arch of your foot. Because very often when we've been sitting down all day, the knees might be rolling in a bit. We want to really de-desk our body. So just check that the arches of your feet are slightly lifted and continue that feeling of lifting all the way up through the body as we extend the arms right above the head. So big love stretch up and just hold that stretch at the top for a moment so as you hold that stretch just take a moment to think about where are you with your feet pressing into the ground and the length over your hips so specifically stretch the arms up to the sky but think about the distance between the earlobes and shoulders check the this space especially if you've been sitting at your desk all morning and you're feeling a bit crunched up good morning good morning come on in lovely to see you so stretch up tall 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 and then just relax it out nice and gently good job now give me three really lovely big deep breaths here we go we're going to energize that body deep breath in so gather the energy from the air and then at the top just spin the arms back a little bit so you just let the arms open up wide and you lift up your heart chakra to the air so you let that heart chakra get some light so let's do that again so bend the knees generously weight in the heels here stretch up tall big deep breath in and as you breathe out get rid of any stale air that's kind of hanging around in your body really long deep breath out let's do one more of those join me here we go deep breath in stretch up tall and then spin the arms back now this time just interlink the hands behind you so i've interlinked my hands draw the shoulder blades together and depending on how much mobile you, mobility you have in the upper back just draw them back and a little bit and you will probably find that you've interlinked your hands a certain way because we have a tendency to maybe have your right thumb or your left thumb on top. So just make a mental note of that because I want to try to create symmetry in our body. So lift up here, take a deep breath in. And as you lift up, just stretch the arms a little bit more, breathe in and then breathe out. Release the arms, give me three deep breaths again. Here we go, so generous bend the knees, breathe in, stretch up tall, breathe arms and then spin the arms wide back. Do that again, two more times. Deep Breath in, weight in the heels as you do that. So that will help protect your knees, lovely people. Okay, one more time. Deep breath in, stretch up, tall, stretch up. And this time, take the hands behind your body again and change which thumb is on top. So it may feel a little bit like, oh, that feels a bit awkward. So draw the shoulder blades together. So before, I had my other thumb on top 
and I'm just lifting it up. So I get symmetry through the body, just opening up that chest, a little bit of stretch across here. How are we doing, all right? Lift up, so the heart chakra is open. Take a deep breath in, if you can squeeze it up at the top of that. That's great, bend those knees a little bit. Make sure here, just take a moment, that if you just look at me for a moment, check you're not sticking your bottom out like a duck. So think the arms are lifting up, so there's small space between my, far, my arm and my torso, but the torso is long, so we just get that nice stretch across the body, breathe in, and release it down, great job. Now face me and just walk through the feet, put a little bit of mobility through that foot, and think about all that great articulation through the foot. If you've been sitting at your desk and your feet are being flexed all morning, you need to think about stretching the front of the foot because everything that happens in your foot affects your posture, okay? Just a couple more here, and we're gonna take a deep breath in again. Here we go, take a deep breath in. Good, now this time, take the arms wide and make lovely big strong stop signs with your hands. So press and energize the hand away. Now, the important thing here is that you import, um, specifically imprint the heel of your hand to the opposite walls, okay? So as you do that, you may well feel a bit of a stretch here, but that will take the strain off the neck, extra distance between the earlobes and shoulders, and take one hand and spin it behind your back. So just take a note there, I've got my hand in the small of my back. Energize that hand. I'm just going to do a bit of neck mobility, which might feel quite nice. Take a deep breath in. Now, you're going to just turn to look at that strong stop sign. The trick is to keep energizing that heel pad, or that, sorry, that hand heel pad away so you feel strong. So take a look at it, deep breath in and then come back to the center and then look the other way. So this is a really nice way. Just be a little bit curious, see how that feels, come back to the center, just to loosen off that neck. And again, just take a look to that side, come back to the center and then here, good job. And just take the arms away, roll those wrists, especially if you've been like on your keyboard, take a deep breath in, breathe in, gather the air, deep breath in, fill your lungs, gorgeous people, and stretch the arms wide. And we're gonna repeat, on the other side so take the other hand big strong stop sign and put it into the small of your back key thing is the palm is actually away from your body energize that hand get ready long through the body have you got distance between pubic bone and sternum be proud of the space that your body takes up deep breath in and as you breathe out you just turn to look at those fingertips and again just be gentle see how you feel I know lots of you have written to me and said, your body's feeling a little bit stiff maybe in places, perhaps you've been doing lots of gardening, maybe you're used to writing and you're leaning on one side of your body. So we create these stories in our bodies which don't necessarily let us be completely symmetrical. And that's okay, but just be respectful to the body and just see how that feels. Well done. Come back to the center, last one here, and then relax it down. Roll those wrists again, so just get a bit of movement. Well done, and then really take a big stretch of your hands so you feel stretch and space. Stretch that space between your fingers, stretch, 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 and then play the piano. Do that one more time, scratch those fingers, and then play the piano, good job. Let's take three deep breaths again. Here we go, people, let's go. Deep breath in, feel the energy, take it out, breathe it out. Well done, a bit more dynamic now, so stretch up tall, breathe in, breathe out. And again, last one here, deep breath in. Good job. Now, from here, what I want us to do is make a lovely big V shape with the hands. So we're slightly out to the, like a Y. Do you remember doing YMCA with the British people? It's a bit like that, so stretch up here. Now cross the hands over your chest. So you've got one hand closer to your body, one on top. And we're gonna make a figure of eight with our elbows, okay? So tuck the chin in. Give me a little bit of softness with the knee, okay? And we're gonna just draw a letter sh and, um, a number eight with our elbows. So we're gonna come round, big, big circle one way, up, over, and then we come down the center, and then we're gonna just draw a figure of eight the other way, okay? Now, be gentle with this. Just maybe start small, see how that feels. So lifting up, and as you start to feel more familiar with it, just kind of go with it, see how your body feels. Keep your knees slightly bent all the time and your feet and your knees are facing forward and you're getting a little bit more mobility with the spine. How is that feeling? Okay, come around. Do one more the same direction and remember which way you've got. I'm giving you a bit of a brain workout as well here. Come back to the center. Okay, remember which way you've done. Take the arms up again, stretch up tall, take three deep breaths. Here we go, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Let the arms come down. So really pull them behind the body. And again, two more times. Deep breath in. Pull them wide. Last one. Really fill that body. Get that air into that body. Pull down and change with your Y again. So take it up and put the other hand closer to your body. Remember which one it was? Okay, here we go. Now we're going to make that figure of eight again. But this time we're going to go the other way. We go down and we go up. So reverse it. So it's it's a different direction to how we were moving before. So it just feels a little bit different. And sometimes by doing that, it kind of feels a little bit kind of awkward or cat handed. You feel like, whoa, the body doesn't feel quite used to doing that. So we just want to play around, be playful with our movement, be curious, getting as much movement. And this is really fabulous to put mobility into that middle back, especially if we've been sitting down. Trace that letter. Well, that, you want to put it a letter, that number eight, all the way around. One more time, people. Breathe in. Good. And then come to the center. Wriggle the feet around. Take the arms up. And we're going to take three deep breaths again. So really make it dynamic. Here we go. Bend the knees. Breathe in. And breathe out. Get rid of any stale air that doesn't serve us any longer. Here we go. Deep breath in. Stretch up tall. Get rid of that stale air. Well done. And again, breathe in. So important for our brain energy, so important for our posture, so important for everything I'm really serving. So now come up here, girls. Lift the body up nice and tall, lovely people. Bend the knees a little bit. Let the hands come down past your chin. So this is my out prep roll down. Some of you may be familiar with it. I've tucked my tailbone under and I've just drawn the shoulders down. So think of your body almost like bookends. That pelvis is tucked under and my shoulders tucked under. But between my ribs and my hips here, um, I've really got length. So I'm not slumping in here. There's a big difference. So come up out of that and let's just try that again. So that we introduce this discipline to a certain extent, but also this appreciation of the shape that we can create with our body. So start with a slight softness of the knees, then tuck that tailbone under. Just stay there. That's all I'm doing right now is I've got one end of the bookend. Up, up, up. Now the hands are gonna come now past your gorgeous faces to your chin and just let the chin come down. Tailbone tucked in, belly button is drawing in, shoulders are tucked under, but I've got the distance between here, here, here. Good, now hold that, drawing everything in taut, tight in here and taut, but long. Four more, three more, two more, one more. Now stretch tall. Be as tall as you possibly can in this world today and then come up onto your toes and hold that in the balance. Hold it here for four, for three, for two, for one. Good job. Ease it down with control and grace. Let's do that again. Three deep breaths. Here we go. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Really get rid of that stellar. And again, breathe in. Breathe in positivity. Breathe in vitality. Breathe in all the good things that you can do with your body now. From here, come up again. Get into that body shape. We're going to roll down this time. So let's set it up with our bookends and our tuck under. Here's my knee bend. Here's my tuck under with the tailbone. Control it, the hands come past the gorgeous faces. And then keep that chin in. Now just almost like a picture here. Take a photograph of your bookends, tuck under and shoulders. Now let that control all the way through. So gently, generously bend the knees here as well, lovely people. And just find yourself in a forward hanging bend. Now see how this feels for you today. You want to have, first of all, your feet parallel, okay? You also want to have more weight in the heel pad and the fingers can be bridged. If this feels a little bit too much for you, you can have your chair and you can have it here so you're actually not so far down low. But you must have your weight in the heel pad, really important. Okay, so whatever's right for you. Now, from here, generous bend the knees, pull those abdominals in, check that we're not having too much of a communication between the thigh and the belly button. Now, not yes for me, not no. Not yes and no, but we'll finish on a positive. And then I'm gonna wait in my heel bones and I'm gonna roll up slowly, slowly, slowly. Now be heavy in that tailbone. Think about coming up nice and gradually. Good job, here we go. Start to unfold and find the height and the space that your body takes up. Come back, stretch up tall again, breathe in. Breathe out, we're gonna go down again. Here we go, bend down, here we go, tuck under. Prepare the shoulders, roll it down. How are we doing, gorgeous people? Are we good today? Roll down, roll down, roll down. Bend those knees, weight in your heel pad again. Are we parallel with your feet? Bridge the fingertips, 
bend the knees generously. Nod yes, nod no. Finish on a positive and then slowly walk the hands out onto all fours. So bend the knees, try to explore into the creases of your toes and control it as you come down gently and respectfully onto all fours. So from here, gorgeous people, if you feel that you want a bit of extra cushioning on your knees, you can. All right, see how that feels. Set yourself up into a nice long position. So check that your shoulders are over your wrists, check that your knees are underneath your hips. Now, I quite like just to wriggle myself from side to side here, especially if you've been sitting down a bit. Okay? So just open up the hips, think about long, on the sort of a length through the crown of the head. So the crown of the head is going that way, your tailbone is going that way. Be proud of the space that your body takes up today. And then from here, the head is just going to come up a little bit, chin kind of coming forward, breastbone opening this way, and at the same time the tailbone comes up. So you stick your bottom out like a duck, a bit of a cat cow, but be a little bit more mindful about how you execute this as you tuck the tailbone under and then you press the shoulders up together. Nice stretch. Feel some space between the shoulder blades. How are we doing with the belly button? Scoop it all in and then gently ease out. So everything is smooth. Just see how your body is feeling today. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too strong. Just like, hello body, how are we doing this lunchtime? Ease up. Deep breath in. And if you're coming back and you're re revisiting this, this is brilliant at any time of the day. So you can actually come back and revisit it later today. Towards the end of the day, just to un de desk your body at the end of the day, stretch here, and then lift and come to a level position. Okay, now from here, gorgeous people, what I'd like us to do is just to wake up the feet a bit. So you're going to stretch one leg out. Oops, it's going to come forward so you can see. So from here, I'm going to stretch one foot out and really press the heel pad back. Take a moment here. Um, if you feel that you're a little bit wary of your wrists, press your first finger into the floor and press your heel pad back. Pull your abdominals in a little bit, but importantly, think about length through the crown of the head and the tail. So this isn't all loose in the middle. Kind of be strong and discipline. That doesn't necessarily mean you pull everything in, it means you create the length, you keep create the strength through space and length. So stretch into the body, feel proud. Press the heel pad away, wake up the soles of the feet, breathe in and breathe out. And then just bring this knee in, if you can, all the way nice and gently to tuck it toward your nose. So just get a bit of movement there, hold it in and then ease back nice and gently. How are we doing? Just bring your weight nice and gently from one side to the other. That's good, wake it up again. And we'll do the same on the other side. So just stretch that leg out, press your heel pad away. Press that first finger of each hand and finger into the floor. Press the heel pad away. Just get a bit of a stretch through that foot. Maybe feel a bit of a stretch over the hip flexor. Lengthen your legs, okay, really important. Feel the space that your body takes up today. Be proud, take a deep breath in. And let the core of your mouth rise out as you blow out. Good job, now from here, bring that knee into your nose. If that feels comfortable, or just come back onto all fours. So draw it in, nice control, have discipline, see how that feels, scoop everything in, and then hold it a bit, and then just ease back nice and smoothly. Press that heel back. Good job. And then from here, bring that foot in. See how that feels. And then tuck your toes underneath you, lovely people. You've got a couple of options here. You can either bring the hands back and just push yourself onto your toes and come up, okay? If you want to come on top, downward dog, and it'll unfold your choice. So if you want to be a bit more progressive, come into your downward dog. And if you feel that you need a little bit of support today, just bring your hands here, come onto the chair for a bit of support. Hold on to the chair, one foot forward, now, energize that heel and push yourself up from that back foot, okay? If you're in a downward dog, you're still there, taking a deep breath in. So here, deep breath in, and breathe out, bend the knees, and we can walk the feet in all together, lovely people. So walk the feet in, tuck the tailbone under, and then when you come to that point with back, if everybody can join me, in your forward hanging bed. How are we doing down here today? Does that feel a bit better maybe than the first one we did? All we're doing is saying, hello, body, wakey, wakey. Get some energy in the body, wake it up. 
Okay, now just shift your weight again, weight in the heel pad, have that discipline. Now keep that tailbone heavy and long, lovely people. And you're slowly gonna roll up nice and gently, breathe in. Stretch up tall, 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 tall. Stretch at the top, fill the space. Face me, reach up tall. How are we doing? Okay, reach, reach, reach. Roll the wrist once, roll them twice, roll them three. Just checking how we're doing time. And again, roll once and twice and three. And we're going to take a deep breath in and lift the arms up. Take hold of one wrist. We are nearly done. Wow, that was so quick. Just 15 minutes. I'm feeling goody, good, good. Stretch your fingers, wriggle the wriggle, wriggle them. They're really important here. Wriggle your fingers. Feel the stretch right down the side of the body, space between ribs and hips, and then take the same arm that is across the body, stretch that leg out. So feel the length of your body, energize your toe, your balance will be slightly compromised, but I want you to feel that this leg is having to work a little bit, and that leg is stretching. So you've got that whole body connection stretch, four more, three more, two more, one more, stretch up the top, Spin arms wide, last stretch. Here we go, gorgeous people. Stretch up tall, reach, reach, reach. Take hold of that wrist. Lift a bit higher. You've done so well. So take the leg out and reach over. Wriggle those fingers. And as you wriggle those fingers and you're in this position here, feel how everything is connected, how amazing the body is. Stretch into that toe. Imagine you're trying to stretch the leg as far down that mat as possible. Reach, reach, reach. Deep breath in. Good, and then come back to the center, bring that leg in. Are you ready? We're just gonna finish off with the three deep breaths. Here we go, deep breath in. Breathe in, taking the energy, taking the positivity, breathe out. Two more, and again, deep breath in. Thank you so much for joining me this time. Breathe in, and breathe out. We're gonna be here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right through these four weeks of lockdown here in the UK. And you're welcome to join me. Please type a friend, say if you liked it, and I'd love to hear you from you. So from here, gorgeous people, take the arms wide, we always have to hug in the mouth, so sweep it around, take hold of your shoulder blades, a good grip there, just give yourself a real good squeeze, and just take a moment to let the chin come down and take a deep breath in. Thank you so much for your energy and your enthusiasm coming here together with everything that's going on in the world. And then we're going to take the arms out wide and we're going to repeat that on the other side. So scoop it in. Here we go, breathe in. I hope this is giving you a bit of a zing, a zing, zing for the rest of your day. And please join me as we send our love around the world because we kind of all need a little bit of this right now. After the count of three, are we ready? Three, two, one. Shh. It's gone. Take care, lovely people. Thank you so much for your energy in this instant body boost in number one. And I really hope to see you join me live or you'll catch up. I'm gonna put this up as well. So let me know how you got on, if you liked it. I read every single one of your comments and um, if there's anything that you'd like to see me doing, but really what I'd love to do is just de desk our body so that we connect in a positive way to enhance our posture, connect with mobility, and stretching, and just feel a little bit more positive um, from me to you as we deal with everything that's going on in the world. All right, so take a care of people. Big love, and I look forward to you joining me hopefully on Wednesday. All right, and Friday this week. Take good care. Look after yourself. God bless.